Greetings mercenaries and welcome to my video series where I will be delivering proof of concept videos determining the viability of some of the fewer or less often used weapons I should say. In this one we're going to focus on the autocannon 2. So what we're going to go over is how much money you can expect to set to spend getting a good mech with enough hard points and equipping it and upgrading it, how much time that'll take in game, and then what kind of effect you'll have. So without further ado, let's begin. I found a Mauler MX-90. Um, I am hated by all of the houses because I like to do my missions for the independents. And that means I'm spending more money than you will be. So assume whatever numbers I give you are rounded up. So let's purchase this Mauler for 10 million. Okay, let's uh, load it out. First things, strip mech. Next, maximize armor. Oh my god, that thing could fit another 8 tons of armor. 266, wow. Mauler, why is your armor so low? So anyway, auto cannons are the way to go. We are not going to really use other weapons in the fight because we don't care. Now, I like Maulers. At least I, I like the way they look and the way they play for the most part, but... They have a tendency to lose their big old arms. So I'm gonna put some medium lasers on the arms and call it a day for now. We're gonna do auto cannon to ammo to the point where we can just fire constantly. Cooling is at one, so I'll throw some heat sinks in. And for me, this is a playthrough that I beat long ago and I'm now just messing around with. So the year is about 3100, so you've got all the technology that will be released in this game available. Okay, let's do some heat sinks. And we are getting there. One, two, three, four, five, so ten. That's a thousand. I actually think we want some more auto cannon ammo. Now, auto cannons don't generate a lot of heat, fortunately, so we could actually even drop a heat sink if we want. But let's see. Three, six, uh, ten, eleven, twelve. That's fourteen hundred. Mm, we could do maybe just a little bit more. Yeah, let's do it like this. And let's keep the ammo in the arms. Even though I know they get lost quickly, um, it's just smarter than losing a side torso and all my auto cannons. And we can do a half ammo and call it good. Oh. All right, so this will cost me 151,000 and take 64 days. Now let's do our upgrades. Armor, obviously. Yeah, sure. And then, what else do we do? Damage. We don't need cooldown time because auto cannons have a really fast cooldown time anyway. They're basically like a long range machine gun. Uh, I mean, not quite that good, but they are amazing. So, let's do. Ballistic range and velocity is not really necessary because they already have an insane range. And yeah, velocity could be better, but I think damage is where we fit at. And finally, let's up the speed just a little. I don't know, what's the speed on this thing? 55.9? Eh, whatever. No, actually, I'm gonna do heat dissipation. Okay. That will take 149 days and cost me, that looked like 3,700,000. So between traveling around and finding the right mech with at least four hard points for ballistics, uh, purchasing the mech, upgrades, and buying the weapons if you don't have them already, I would say you can expect to spend 20 million or less. Maybe you can get it down to like 15 million or so. Um, and you might even be able to do it for less if you happen to have everything already. I don't, so let's find a place to go fight. Hmm, we've got a defense contract. A defense contract is perfect because I don't have to run anywhere. And then 
that nice slow assault pack to just do its thing. have my cantina full new transmission so looks like I haven't played this since the DLC dropped and I'll deal with that later. Defense. All right let's do it. <laughs> All we got is money. Yeah I'll do money and one damage coverage. I have everything I need. I just want to prove that you can make money with this build. Okay you guys hate me. Karita hates me. It's all good. Let's throw in my mauler. And, yeah, I'll wait 129 days, because why not? And let's paint it. Hmm. Diamond Dragoons. This is the paint scheme for this particular uh, mercenary unit. And you know what? That works for me. So, this will be an unmodded playthrough, and I will upload the modded version next. Let's begin. with his remote outposts and has ordered us into ready positions to defend this one time to earn our pay everyone all right i've got 2900 auto cannon ammo that's like twice as much as i thought what oh i was calculating this, them having at the moment, <laughs> i was calculating them as having uh 100 ammo per time well that's a mistake this is more than i'm going to be able to spend let's see how my heat is It barely goes up. If I just stop firing for a second or two, it'll be good. So, next build, I can remove a little bit of auto cannon. So, here's one of the cool things about the auto cannon, if I don't destroy my own base, is that the range is ridiculous already. Um, yeah, there we go. If you can see it, you can shoot it. There's very little drop. You guys attack that guy. Oh, uh, Jaeger Mac. So this would be another candidate for my auto cannon build. He's got the trips. I'm gonna try to use nothing but the auto cannon just to demonstrate how viable they are. Interesting thing is because I'm not using my arms at all, I doubt the enemies are going to shoot that at very much. Hey, leave my base alone, you. Yeah, these assault packs are still pretty slow. I don't know. I just have so much. There goes one. Here comes some more guys. We're already a third of the way through the amount of people we had to kill. Hey! Mind? Uh, ah, I've got my King Crab Carapace with four Ultra Auto Cannon fives, which I guarantee you I will out damage. bit much damage there. Did you guys take out those DACA bitches? Alright, 
there goes his own leg. I'm gonna take the other leg out now. Pouring enemies, it's also a classic for headshots, which I just didn't even bother with. Halfway done. Can grab carapace. Come on, try not to lose anything valuable. You know what? I might even order you to just uh, hold your fire. I really don't understand why we don't have the order to uh, let our, our our allies eject. You know, so they don't destroy our beautiful hard work and precious sea bills. That was an accident there. Okay, whoops. Probably shouldn't be walking through the base. Alright, there's a panther, guys. Not for long. I shoot their attacks. <laughs> there we go. Alright, you guys attack that Centurion. I am going to wail on the little guy. Actually, I'm going to help you take him down before he takes any marks off my crap. Alright, well done. Oh, am I like walking through the switch tank? Or maybe that's a water reservoir. I hope that's target rifleman. Target acquired. Right. Those are Jaegers with all the all the Daka really chewed me up pretty good. And that guy's so far away it doesn't matter. What do we got here? Guy's serious. Let's see if I can headshot him from here. Okay. Thank you for telling me that in the middle of combat when I was not playing online. No, I'll continue doing it. I think I need to. There it goes. Uh, strafe a little so I can get less damage. Got him. Alright, uh, one more already. mission, what we're going to do is see how the AI works with a similar build. What, is this guy lost or something? What, what is he doing? He's been over there for ages. I remember finding him earlier. Right, maybe I should have uh, got that speed upgrade. I wish I could add even more armor to this thing. Overheating does not seem to be a problem. But 
what have we learned? The auto cannon is very, very low heat, fast firing, highly accurate, has a ton of ammo, doesn't do a lot of damage, but fires frequently enough. I think this guy glitched out. There we go, I woke him up by shooting him. Okay, mission complete. Congratulations, Commander. These people owe their lives to you. You almost lost that very good arm. You don't get to pilot that back anymore, my friend. I'm a little bit afraid to give these mechs to the AI, but I think that's what the plan will be. Alright, made a cool three and a half million C bills. Uh, damage payout for our insurance. Way more. I probably should have just gone for the money. Oh, I can't salvage much, but that's fine. Nice high tier weaponry here. Oh, auto cannon too. May as well, right? Okay, so this guy did close to my damage, actually. That's pretty, pretty impressive. Good job, man. The three max, I, on the other hand, killed 11 max. Just a reminder, though, he weighs 10 times more and has much better weaponry and a fuller complement of weaponry. All right, kill five Jaeger max. Woohoo! So, I hope that demonstrates the viability of this auto cannon build. Now, the next mission we're going to do will be a destruction or scorched earth mission because I want to demonstrate how good auto cannons are at. Um, how good auto cannons are at destroying property as well as big stompy robots. There. Probably should have done that before, I completely forgot. And you know what, actually, this mauler, we're gonna that load out. And let's get rid of two ammo and add some more heat sinks. And then okay. Star map. I'm actually gonna go back here and we're gonna make another auto cannon build, or maybe even two more, so that we can test them all out. I wanna see how the AI does. I'm a little bit afraid to give all of my AI the auto cannons, but that King Crab did well. Okay. That's a pretty decent mech. It's actually a very good little mech, but that's not what we're doing right now. So, let's see, what do I get rid of? I'll get rid of my Banshee 3P, even though I love him. And I think I will get rid of this Atlas to do more auto cannon boys. So that one goes there, that one goes there. Let's take out my Annihilator to A. Load him up with auto cams as well. For our next, uh, our next male or female, like a ship, you call it she. I'm not really sure. And we can do some pulse lasers for defense. And we still have plenty of space, huh? Buy some half ammo just in case I need it. I don't think I will. Uh, this is um, so very much. Hopefully, though, the AI will fire it a lot. So as because the heat gen is so low. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's 12, that's 2,400. Probably more than I need, but whatever. 
and then I'll throw some heat sinks. And I can go with single heat sinks because I still have so much space on this thing. So that was 2,400 plus 400, 600, 800. That's 3,200. That's so much. I don't think I should need more than 3,000. Um, let's do some more heat sinks. And I honestly ha wish I had something else to put in there. This is why I kind of like the mods, because you can uh, up it with the... Uh, you can increase the engine weight to make it go faster, which is a no-go on this thing. And why not? Just a little more ammo. I think that's more heat reduction than we need. We should be good. So 47,000 for that, plus probably about 10 million. We'll do our upgrades, percent armor, maybe not 2.5%. There's already a ton of armor. We need to get that ballistic damage. And should I do speed? <laughs> I honestly want to do speed because this thing is so slow. Yeah, let's let's roll like this. I mean, speed doesn't matter that much. Maybe armor would be more useful. Yeah, let's go with armor. Okay. So, 108 days, three million. Again, you're going to be looking at 10 to 15 million. Well, actually, 10 to 20 million for each of these builds, and. I have a hero warhammer that I want to try. There you are. Put a tier three auto cannon in there. And medium lasers. And we're good. Okay. Auto cannon ammo time. I'm really curious what a whole team of auto cannon mechs are gonna be like. Double heat sink, not bad. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that's sixteen hundred. Oh, that looks pretty good to me. I could take off some armor and add another half ton, but I think this is fine. 109,000. Upgrades. And this is the Warhammer uh, BW. I think it stands for... Rude War? <laughs> no, I think it's the Black Widow. But uh, let's do our upgrades now. Definitely need armor. I'm going to throw that in just for now. Could throw in the weapon damage. Minus 5% ballistic heat would be pretty ridiculous. Let's definitely give it the speed upgrade. And what else? What about the 5% internal structure? Just so it doesn't take damage. Because it was pretty damaged. Yeah, that sounds good. And again, about 4 million and 129 days. So to make a full squad of auto cannon max, you're looking at 20, 40, 60, 80 million. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right, let's go find a mission. We've got a scorched earth contract. Perfect. I'm really genuinely curious how the silly AIs can handle this. Later. Oh, he's already in some custom colors. It looks like I gave him. That's cool. All right. Mm, yeah, that sounds good. Scorched Earth sounds good to me. And oh no, sorry. Damage coverage. Well, that sounds good. 
myself, give myself a mauler. You, sir. Oh, you, you, you like to lose arms, don't you? You know what? I'll give you the annihilator. You seem to take the least damage, so you can have the king crab. You will get the mauler wherever I put it. And I will take my Warhammer. Wait 160 days? Yeah, sure. Alright. 360 out of 400. This is a difficulty 96, so it's not quite difficulty 100, but I mean, they're basically the same. And once I've demonstrated the viability of these builds for... Oh, no, I just realized something. I need to do my weapons groups. I don't know how bad the um, AI will be. Okay, that looks legit. Uh, a little confusing there. I don't see why that's necessary. Ah, that's chain fire. Yeah, that's fine. And this one I just... I think I already did it. Yeah, okay, great. Okay, weapons groups are good. Let's roll. So remember... For the vanilla game AI, they will focus on firing weapon group one, okay? And then whenever they can't, they'll move on to weapon group two. When they can't fire that, weapon group three. So you want, in general, their longest range weapon to be weapon group one, or at least weapon group one. Oh, God. This is so much better than 48. We'll Alright, well there's what we're shooting at, so we can start shooting already. Now, I put three chain fire because this thing will completely annihilate buildings and you can save some ammo that way. So that artillery is a little tougher. because you can destroy the base from so far away. I actually also want to check out that collectible. So what do I think I'm going to do? I'll camp my squad. Actually, it's not very far away, so let's just grab it real quick. Oh no! Great work. What do I do Best here? How do I pick it up? Before more reinforcements arrive. Oh, I don't care about more reinforcements. So heat was not a problem at all. It's just new target. Shed target. Here we go. You guys handle the thunderbolts. Let's see if I can like you. Stand. Whoa! Hey! 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 Easy with those. Uh, these 
guys have been really kind of cheese grating the enemies. Seems like, did I accidentally put in one tier 3 auto cannon? Because it seems this guy is going very slow. We got a short burst laser charger. You guys focus on the Cyclops. focus on me very much. So as you can see, it takes a little bit of time to kill the uh, enemies, especially the assault max, but when we're all working together, it gets done quick. took some pretty serious damage, but no one lost anything. Uh, no one has any structural damage, and we just did a level 100 or level 96 mission. I'm gonna try to go around here. Uh, I think I can do it. Come on. Come on. There we go. I really want that collectible. Lads relocation confirmed. We're approaching the location of a hidden asset. It must be nearby. Oh, I got it. That's close enough. All right, let's get out of there. Operation. Cool. Drop I got my collectible. And... Prepare for extraction. Target down. I didn't even come close to running out of ammo. So, looks like the whole squad of these are pretty good. Damage, one million payout, not bad. And I get to collect a tier four for this Yeah, why not? All right, let's see All right, so as you can see, I did a lot more damage than my friends, but fortunately, Major Tram is there to tank for me. Um, Brook did very well. Brook actually outperformed the King Crab which uh, is pretty amazing given that, you know, the loadout for the Mauler is significantly weaker, but that's the power of the autocannon too. Uh, so I've demonstrated that autocannons are great at ripping apart mechs and bases, and I hope this has changed some people's opinions about the viability of an autocannon to build. In the meantime, it's been great, and I'll see you later, Marks. Next video will be a modded Auto, series of auto cannon videos. All right, this is Orangutan Librarian signing out.